Gut loves a clean sink top like i do oh my god i just got done with washing my dishes these ones i'll put them later but look at these flowers i got this from my plant my rose plant and i decided to put it there doesn't it look cute but guys i really feel good when my kitchen sink top is super clean like you know free so this is where i put most of the stuff to dry from like you know overnight and stuff like that and this is clean as you can see and that is uh, remaining curry we shall use that uh, tonight look at this look at this look at that look at that oh my goodness this is so 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 satisfying to see my kitchen like this these are still under drying you guys they're not yet dry and they some of them are getting spoiled that's why i can't put them in i'll leave them there and i always put them out but for now it is raining that is why i put them inside you guys who else loves a clean let me first close this <laughs> who else loves a clean sink top like i do i feel rich when i have a clean sink top like this when everything is washed there is no fruits when everything is washed there is no clutter here you know everything is ah i'm so happy about this oh my god i've made makana for the boys as you know their breakfast it's called fox nuts actually we don't have anything in the house so this is the only thing i had we literally are out of groceries so this is a lifesaver for us and i'll be making uh maybe um what lemon rice for my husband and i've added a little bit of ghee and salt in here that is what the boys are going to be having for their breakfast Here I'm making lemon rice for my husband and I'm going to be using leftover rice. So in here I'm supposed to be adding mustard seeds but we don't have it as well at home so I just used a little bit of cumin powder, I mean cumin seeds and now this is leftover rice from last night so I'm going to turn it into lemon rice because you guys we have literally nothing in the house. So I mean having this rice in the house is also a lifesaver because what would i feed my husband this morning so for me i'll be managing with makana as well because the boys are going to be having that and i'll be having some as well so i'm just making simple lemon rice that is it After my husband had his breakfast he found out that i have a lot of dishes to be doing in the kitchen and he helped me 
and then abinash was talking to his grandmother and she asked for my husband this is where you see him standing oh, yeah. here holding the phone and after there he went back to helping me and i'm so glad and so proud and so you know happy to have such a husband who thinks about you like he knows we have nobody to help at home and there is a lot of stuff that is waiting for me to be doing and then he was like let me just do some dishes maybe reduce on the work that you have and this is what he's doing right now the year end with these things while i'm being so far this is suffering you helping me <laughs> you do it When he got done with washing the dishes the boys were so fuzzy at that moment especially at dash so he was like you know what let me just take them down for a walk maybe he'll feel better when he's outside and then at dash avinash also decided to get his bike and ride while the dash is moving around with his dad and i was like you know that is something that is so cute and then at Today this I'm time i used it to you know clean the, house. the fish heads into a curry so remember last time we had got a lot of fish and we cooked the other parts and most of the remaining part was heads actually all the remaining parts here they're about one two three four five five pieces of the head so i was like you know what let me just turn it into a curry and i love fish heads too much like too much so i'm so happy that i'm going to be making this uh into a curry and today is you know 31st of december and um this is onions and tomatoes that I've already cut and I've already fried as well some potatoes in this shape. Like a little bit of frying, so let me make curry out of it. For the ground spices or powder spices, I'm going to be using a turmeric powder that is healthy and I'll be adding some cumin powder as usual and I'll be adding some uh, red chili powder that is obvious but I didn't add any um, garlic and ginger because we don't have garlic and ginger in the house and we don't have the paste in the fridge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using garlic powder right so i've just added um some coriander powder right now and i'm going to be adding garlic powder now because the fish needs to be having garlic powder and since we don't have any of them in the house so garlic powder is a life saver now that our spices were cooking i'm just going to be checking if it is cooked properly so that i can add the fish and yes it is cooked thoroughly like properly so it is time for me to add the fish in there remember we're cooking fish heads if you see it don't be surprised because that is what we have in the house as i said we have completely nothing in this house today and we're just managing with everything that we the little that we have in the house right so these fishes as well are lifesaver because um it's a new year like we should not be eating dal and stuff like that but you know we're like instead of wasting money to go out in a restaurant and have food there what is going to happen to what we have in the house we have to just finish it and you know just improvise it with whatever we have in the house so i'm just going to be adding a little bit of water for the soup or for the curry whatever you may call it and then i'll let the fish cook Daddy. 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 
And then I decided to look for my husband so that I can bother him a bit. You enjoy. <laughs> you enjoy. Hmm? You're having fun alone. I found him watching a movie and I decided to let him go. So our lunch is ready. As you can see, the rice is ready as well. I'm just going to be making this red dodo. I don't know red dodo is called how in your language. But uh, these are greens that you find them in two types. One is green and one is red. And in my husband's culture or language, it is called sago. Like, you know, nalia sago. So that is what I made. And this is the lunch that we are going to be having. Plus some dal from... Uh, yesterday I just recooked it since we have nothing in the house we decided to get ready and go do our grocery shopping today today is when we are going to do a lot of stuff like most of the things for cooking as well as not there like dal and spices and this today we're going to an Indian uh, store or an Indian supermarket because that is where we get all the Indian essentials that will be needed for cooking at home so let us go together and you guys will see as well what we're going to be buying So I don't know if Organica is really organic, but this is what is written here. And I like buying their stuff, by the way. They have um, some nice things that, you know, you can be using for your home. Like dal and all the spices. They make everything. And I think it's organic, like, to be honest with you. So I'm going to be taking some uh, masur dal and chana dal because that is what I need. And this supermarket has these trolleys that have cars on top for the kids. I mean, the front... And whenever Abinash brings it for Adash, Adash never goes out. Like, we literally have to fight for him to come out of it. Once we are done shopping and we are done, you know, payment and stuff like that, he literally usually refuses to come out. So Abinash was also saying he needs one and we're like, but you already have two trolleys. But still, he went and picked it. And then I had to change this, uh, like the stuff we have bought to the other trolley that he brought because I didn't want us to have three trolleys. Who's going to push all of them? So that is why. And then we go to Maggie. We usually eat Maggie in India, but still we also got it here and we decided to take some. The 
this black one was attempting me to get it but i was like you know what control yourself we shall get it when we hit 1000 subscribers so i uh, they have a little pastry area here and we took some cookies and stuff from them and now we are going to go ahead with shopping and remember like we okay like my husband right here is getting some soda because sometimes we need we get visitors at home that come abrupt and you if you don't have anything to offer them it is really so embarrassing so i also decided to get some eggs because we ran out of eggs like two weeks ago and since i've not been going to the market for like two weeks i never got eggs and we usually buy our eggs like uh from the market like the local market uh so that is why so today we got eggs and now we are here to get done with our payment and we'll be going out and you guys whenever we come to the supermarket i don't fail to get some panipuri so getting a, a, a dash out of that trolley is a tug of war i just carried him out of there and i put bring brought him to the car and then my husband had to go and pick the shoes that he had left from there that he, he had he had left one of his shoes from there and then we got them some lollipops that made them calm down a little bit at Adash at least stopped crying and he was so happy. So um right now, as I said, I can't come to this store and fail to eat panipuri because you know I'm a panipuri girl and here my husband is going to make an order as you can see right there that they have already put the store for the the stall for the panipuri over there and I think they're working on my plate in inside and that is what my husband is bringing like right now and you guys I can't stop eating panipuri, you know what I'm saying. Honey pouring. Look at that. Look at how tasty. Look at the how tasty it looks already. My mouth is watering. In fact, <laughs> why? This is super super tasty. It has some yogurt, plain yogurt in there. Oh my goodness. I know it's tasty. Here. Skating school. Hmm? We go to my skating school. Do you know the time of it? They're closed at 5 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 6 o'clock. It's already past 6. So we decided to take a longer route home because the boys were like, we shouldn't go home. We should go somewhere else, like, you know, play or something. And then we're like, let's take a longer route home. They are all police. I think maybe the president because see how big the line is of people escorting him. And this is, how is it called? The Uganda word? I've forgotten how it is called. <laughs> no, that that bird crane. that is on the whatever. You're gonna crane. So many cars. So, so, so many so cars. And for them once they reach somewhere that they need to, you know, there is trouble. Yes is here what has he come what have they come to do here Fueling. Fueling. <laughs> there is a church around here and that is uh they just completed it that is the church it, it was under construction for a long time so finally it is done and around here there is what we call kabira country club and uh I think most of the people when they come to Uganda, that is where they stay, like it's a hotel, I think. And then I've never gone there by the way. Look at how big the building is. 